As Dakota Kai makes her way inside to the ring, the fans are ready for the first matchup of Sunday Night Heat tonight in the women's division. And the winner will be taking on Carmella at WWE No Mercy. Becky Lynch, a member of Infamy, is making her way down to the ring with one of the members of Infamy who's having their problems with dirty money. I'm referring to Dean Ambrose and Bobby Roode. We could possibly see Becky Lynch taking on the other member of Dirty Money, Carmella, for the, the Women's Championship at No Mercy. So it'll be a huge match for her. With a little bit extra implications here tonight. As Dean Ambrose and Mick Foley made infamy be known during Shotgun Saturday night, costing Bobby Roode the television championship. But before Becky can take her chances to no mercy, she had to take on Dakota Kai in our opening matchup. On Sunday Night Heat. And here we go. Dakota Kai taunting Becky a little bit. Becky Lynch the Haymaker shots. Right into the face of Dakota Kai. Working on the arm there. And Dakota might have made a big mistake taunting her when the match started. Kick to the gut. Becky Lynch trying to prove her worth in the women's division. Back sequence connects. Being one of the last women's champions before emerging of all the belts. Losing that matchup at Class of Champions to Charlotte. I right, swoop to the corner. Shot to the face by Lynch. And so far, Dakota Kai has not amounted to any offense in this matchup. And a suplex by right, Becky. Dakota Kai trying to get her to her feet. Becky with another haymaker. Dakota trying to amount some offense finally. Our Swift, that goes back to the ground. Dakota takes her down. Miss Kyle of a shot at the Women's Championship against Carmella and No Mercy. Trying to get back into this matchup. Another Irish Swift. DDT! Oh. 
Becky with a shot to the gut. And Becky with a DDT of her own takes her down. You can see McFarlane turning her on on the outside. Becky. She's going to be planning to cut a tie into the mat. Now I'm pretty sure that Carmella's in the back looking very closely in this matchup. And her future opponent had no mercy. Rather be Dakota Kai or Becky Lynch. As Lynch got on that hold. Working on the armor, Dakota. Off the top elbow drop. And we're right back to where we begin. With Becky Lynch being dominant here. Ugh. All right, she'll to the corner. Becky turning her around. As she's setting up the cutter, Kai! And throws her right into the ring post. Except for that little flurry that Dakota had, it's been all Becky since the word go. Oh, not another suplex. Another one connects. She just toying with her at this point. Becky on the gross leg drop. Murmur again. The second leg drop connects. Becky looking for another. Oh! Just continuously throwing her into the mat. Haymaker followed by uppercut. Miss Kai trying to ride to the ring. Trying to escape Becky. But Becky got her. And Sue plexes her back into the ring. You can see the approval of Mick Foley right there. Elbow dropped by Lynch. Giving her the boots now. And another suplex. Oh! She's done, Becky. Seriously. Dakota Kai is about it. Very little offense in this matchup. As Becky setting her up. Got a disarmer locked in. And Dakota Kai can't do nothing else but tap out. And it will be Becky Lynch taking on Carmella for the Women's Championship at No Mercy. And that is exactly what Becky Lynch did to Dakota Kai. She showed her no mercy in that matchup. And I hope that Carmella's watching very carefully in the back to see what kind of opponent she has to deal with at no mercy. And Becky Lynch right there. Oh, wait, wait, look, look. Look in the back there. Goldus has a match with Tyler Breeze for the Intercontinental Championship, but Goldus is out. Somebody attack Goldus in the back. Somebody go back there and help him. His matchup was supposed to be next. We're going to defend the IC title tonight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Intercontinental Championship.
as Tyler Breeze makes his way into the arena and a sea of booze. You could possibly see why. Considering we just saw Goldust being laid out in the back. Will Goldust be able to defend the Intercontinental Championship tonight in a rematch from Shotgun Saturday night as Goldust got the victory to retain that title out of nowhere with a roll up. Tyler Breeze, the man of the rematch. The rematch was set for it tonight, but I had no idea if Goldust came. He didn't make it out to the ring as he was attacked in the back. We're not even sure who attacked him. We all just think that it's Tyler Breeze. But there's not been any evidence of the such. You can see Tyler Breeze is gloating here at the fact that Godus is hurt. There's no way that Godus can be 100% considering what it just, it literally just happened before Tyler Breeze even came out here. But will Tyler Breeze, the Intercontinental Champion, we'll find out very shortly. Hell, will Godus even be out here to defend that title? We'll be out here, we'll figure that out shortly. And Godus is out here. Making his way down to the ring. And the fans here are cheering for him. They want to see him win. They want to see him defend that title. Godus, who just been attacked just a few moments ago, is coming out here to defend that title, as we can see. Godus becoming the Intercontinental Champion. That's SummerSlam defeating The Miz. Able to defend that title. That shotgun Saturday night against Tyler Breeze. But we can all, we can all can tell that Gold is not 100% here tonight. But will 80% be enough? Will 70% be enough? We're gonna retain that title against Tyler Breeze. We'll find out here shortly on Sunday Night Heat. Introducing the challenger from seasonal residences, weighing in at 212 pounds, Tyler. Introducing the champion from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 232 pounds, he is the Intercontinental Champion, Goldust. Goldust beating a fighting champion here tonight against Tyler Breeze for the Intercontinental Championship. We can only hope to still be a good match as Tyler Breeze sitting here taunting Goldust. And here we go. And Tyler Breeze will go to shot, but Goldust counters. You can hear the fans here chanting his name as Goldust is amounting some offense here. Tyler Breeze with a haymaker. Tyler Breeze has set up Goldust again. Oh! Got him up on the ropes. Elbow drop by Breeze. And Breeze smells blood in the water. With the team's elbow drops on the gold dust. 
He knows that Godas is hurt. Elbow drop for the top. He knows that he's hurt. He's going straight right to him. And try to take him down. He's on second rope. Sunset flip takes down. Breeze with a Beller DDT. And Goldust has not made any kind of moves or comeback. Ever since Breeze got him down under that rope. Breeze from the top. Double leg drop from the top rope. Goldust trying to get up to his feet. Breeze is setting him up. I'm prettier to next. Run to Goldust with cover. One, two, three. And Tyler Breeze is your new Intercontinental Champion. Goldust put up a good fight as long as he could. But he got hit with the I'm prettier and got taken out for the one, the two, the three. And just like that, Tyler Breeze is your new Intercontinental Champion. Dancing and strutting to the ring for our main event tonight on Sunday Night Heat. As the newest member of Weapon Next. We haven't seen him wrestle since before betraying Kevin Owens. But we'll see him wrestle tonight as he'll take on the number one contender for the WWE. World Championship in an amazing and unpredictable fashion on our last episode. Sami Zayn's in the ring. Waiting for his opponent to come out. And his opponent from Brooksville, Florida, weighing in at 234 pounds, Bo Dallas. Believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, that man right there is the number one contender for the WWE World Championship. He survived a gauntlet with former world champions such as Kevin Owens and Samoa Joe. Multiple time champions, whether it be Intercontinental, Tag Team, whatever. All of them are NXT champions at one point. And that include Bo Dallas. And Bo Dallas was the one that came with the victory at Sunday Night Heat last week. And he is the number one contender for that championship. And here we go. It's a two-man title up here. Sami Zayn better be aware that he's not messing with the Bo Dallas he thinks he's messing with. Considering that, Bo! Close line over to the top, to the floor. By Sami. Referee begins his count. Bo Dallas trying to get his bearings under him. He goes back into the ring and Sami Zayn's right on top of him. And gets back in. 
Going down with a push on. Go down. Irish whip. Comes back around. Back body drop. Takes him down. Bo Dallas trying to. Oh, a bulldog by Bo Dallas. Trying to get a victory here. On his way to no mercy. Oh! A centaur right into the upper back of Sami Zayn. Like I was saying, Bo Dallas unexpectedly won the gauntlet match. He is headed to No Mercy to take on Drew McIntyre, the leader of Weapon Next. Sami Zayn's trying to get control of this matchup. I'm pretty sure Sami Zayn is looking over his shoulder for Kevin Owens considering what he's done to him. Not only at SummerSlam costing the title, but also last week costing him the gauntlet match that Kevin Owens clearly was in control of before running out of the ring to chase off Sami Zayn. Oh! Sami Zayn is trying to get a victory for Weapon Next. Trying to soften up both Dallas for the leader, Drew McIntyre. Sami Zayn with a cutter. Taking down Bo Dallas. Going for the cover. One, two, kick out by Dallas. Irish by Sami Zayn. From back to ground. DDT. Oh no, the roll up title move in DDT. This takes down Bo Dallas. That was a shot to the gut. Bo Dallas. Reverse DDT. And look at Bo Dallas here. Trying to take advantage of this match. Bo Dallas with a running bulldog again on the Sami Zayn. Bodal trying to make everybody believe in him in this matchup going into No Mercy. Trying to prove to everybody he deserves a shot at the championship. Well, he already kind of does deserve it, surviving that gauntlet of former NXT champions. Bodal trying to get the crowd behind him tonight in our main event of Sunday Night Heat. Irish Swift, Sammy Zane is back. Oh, takedown by Bo Dallas. Going for the cover. One, two, kick out by Sammy. Bo Dallas with the Irish switch to the corner. Sammy Zane is gonna have to mount some kind of offense soon before this match is quickly over. A little drop by Bo Dallas. Bo Dallas being considered an underdog since he was coming to NXT before. Definitely since coming to the main roster. But now, Bo Dallas is not trying to let that opportunity pass him by to potentially become the new WWE World Champion. Ball with a shot to the gut. Ball with haymakers. Counter by Sammy. Sammy with a drop kick. And that stops Bo Dallas in his tracks. Last trip by Sammy Zane. Got Bo Dallas in the corner. Sami Zayn is trying to take him up top here. What is Sami Zayn looking to do? Sami Zayn setting up another cutter in the connects. Sami Zayn with continuous haymakers. Four shivers. 
Right above Dallas. Sammy Zane hit up top. Sammy's taunting. Bo Dallas in the crowd here tonight. Bo's trying to get up to his feet. Bo's trying to get up to his feet, but Sammy Zane's waiting for him. And the elbow dropped to the back of the head. Sammy Zane, German suplex. One, two. Kick out by Bo. I shoot by Zane. He's back around. Tilt to world back breaker. Everybody should be aware tonight that Sammy Zane no slouch. One, two. Kick out by Bo again. You can see that Sami Zayn is trying to look into his arsenals in his head and see what, what, what else he can do to Bo Dallas. And Bo Dallas is trying to get back into this matchup. Oh! Bo Dallas is trying to get the victory here in our main event on Sunday Night Heat. And a stiff Irish whip. Close line takedown. Bo Dallas to the second rope. Oh, send time. Run to Sami Zayn. Reverse DDT by Bo Dallas. As the crowd are on our feet for the main event. Reverse DDT again. And Bo Dallas is right now in the driver's seat. Irish whip to the corner. And now it's Bo Dallas trying to take him up top. Bo Dallas setting up Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn has nowhere to go. Sami Zayn is locked in. Going for a ride onto the mat. Double on the hook suplex on the top. Going for the cover. Kick out by Sammy. No doubt that counter by Sammy Zane. Sammy Zane looking for the cover. Kick out by Bo. Another cover. Another kick out by Bo Dallas. Sami Zayn is seriously trying to pull up all the stops here to get a victory for Weapon Nets. Bo Dallas with a counter. Irish Whip comes back. Sami Zayn. Bo Dazzler. The belly to belly. One. Two, kick out by Sammy. Sammy kicked out of Bo Dazzler. And now Sammy Zane is trying to set up Bo. Sammy Zane. Oh. Shot to the face. Sammy's trying to soften him up. Single leg drop kick to the face. All right, shoot to the corner. Sammy Zane, the sputter suplex. Run to the corner. Sammy Zane is signaling the end. Bo Dallas trying to set him up. Haluva kick. Oh, counter. Bo Dazzler again. 
Going for the cover. One, two, kicked out by Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn, another kick out. This is clothesline. My God, I took his head off. Cover. One, two, three. And Bo Dallas with a solid victory in our main event of Sunday Night Heat. It took two Bo Dazzlers. I thought Sammy was going to have a one trying to go for the Huluva kick. But that got counter. Eventually getting hit with that mean distance close line for the one, the two, the three. And Bo Dallas is slowly making them believe in everybody here in the WWE.